Hello and welcome to Prime News. First to look at the headlines. Supreme Court's Expert Committee asked report on dumps from state government. Committee to submit its finding to Supreme Court on 21st October. Will step down as GCA president if general body tells ready for any probe. Baru in head on. Sarkar submits GCA's corruption nama to registrar probe team. Goa State Cooperative Bank Chairman Ullas further decided to face no confidence motion. High Court asked Central Registrar to expedite need sets deadline of 31st October. UK Cabinet Minister Vince Cable underestimates Indian football just a day after ISL launch says he doesn't think football will take hold in cricket frenzy nation. And frequent accidents due to bad roads at Raya force you to hit streets. Local block road give weeks time to authorities for repairs threaten agitation. And now the news in detail. Supreme Court appointed expert committee has asked Goa government to submit its views on dumps which are lying in the state. Committee has to submit its report on 21st October before the Supreme Court. Sources inform that committee has verified quantity and quality of iron contains in the dump. According to the state government, more than 700 million metric tons of dumps are lying in the state. Six member Supreme Court appointed committee has arrived in Goa. They held a meeting with the various stakeholders and discussed regarding the dumps lying at various places across the state. Sources inform that expert committee has asked views of Goa government on dumps handling. Committee has asked the state government to submit information on quality of the dumps, quantity of the dumps, iron content in the dumps and whether the dumps are feasible for export. Committee has also asked government to mention locations where the dumps are lying. Goa Mineral Ore Exporters Association submitted a memorandum to the expert committee. Sources said that association is not happy with state government's approach towards resumption of mining in the state. Association warns government to first begin with fresh extraction, then go for dumps. Committee also asked the association regarding quantity and quality of the dumps. Expert committee refused to have dialogue with media. Sources inform that expert committee will leave the state on Tuesday. Committee has to prepare the report on dump handling and has to submit it on 21st of October before the Supreme Court. According to the state government, more than 700 million metric tons of dumps are lying outside the lease areas. Goa government has already collected 186.78 crores as fees for converting land occupied by the mining rejects. Meanwhile, Goa Mining People's Front have submitted an appeal letter to the Chief Minister requesting him to review the Goa Grant of Mining Leases Policy 2014 and to ensure immediate resumption of mining operations in the state of Goa. Mining stakeholders, mining dependents, and the people mining are not going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to आणि त्याका सोजमून सांगचे कसले कसले प्रॉब्लेम आमच्या पुढे आहात कसले कसले लँड माइन्स आहात ते ये माइनिंग चालू करपाक त्याच्या पॉलिसीन सुद्धा ये लँड माइन्स आहात त्याच्या बद्दल क्लॅरिटी स्पष्टीकरण देऊपाक या कमिटीने आज डिसिजन घेतला रिपोर्ट महेश गाडी विद देवेंद्र गावकर फॉर प्रुडेंट GCA President Baru Fadke is ready to step down from his post if general body of the association tells him. He refused to resign, taking moral responsibility of the allegations against him. In his first detailed television interview, the GCA President challenged Dr. Shekhar Sarkar to prove his strength in a general body meeting. Meanwhile, Dr. Sarkar has submitted a memorandum highlighting irregularities in GCA to an investigative team appointed by not district registrar. Balu says he is ready to face the probe. General body, it te cut doroni. The chawanga asala the ne hoye meeting. General body kyon? This is an open challenge. Open challenge. 
जनरल बॉडी आपोय अभय जायला कार्ड जायला मीटिंग वॉच माय कार्ड जायला यू आर रेडी आय एम रेडी फॉर इफ जनरल बॉडी सेज बाळू स्टेप डाऊन यू स्टेप डाऊन आय स्टेप डाऊन यू स्टेप डाऊन किंवा क्लब म्हणजे हा क्लब म्हणजे दिसे गव्हर्नमेंट मशिनरी मिसयूज करतात करतात डेफिनेटली तो आणि हे कसे गिरे करता आणि सीएम त्याचे कसे गिरे ऐकता खबर ना मला दिसत ना सीएम त्याचे ऐकता असे आणि मला तरी दिसता सीएम राईट टाइम आर राईट डिसिजन घेतो तू म्हणता की तुका हो एकच टर्म पुरो आणि दुसरी टर्म आणि गरज ना हा आता उत्तर देता ना Vice President of GCA Dr Shekhar Salkar has alleged that being a member he has not seen the minutes book in the last 2 years Salkar has alleged massive corruption charges against the present GCA president Baru Phadke Dr Salkar has submitted a document to the investigating officer appointed by North District Registrar which shows that GCA paid bills were 26 lakhs in cash to one Hoko Engineering in 2008 Kira ami ojun paren konet मिनिट बुकूच पळना एक्झॅक्टली कसा आहे तो किंवा आमची सिस्टीम आणि किती करून दौरल्या चेतनान सपोज टू बी वडलो ॲडमिनिस्ट्रेटर समजता स्वतःक आम्ही फक्त असे सोय मारप एक पेजीचे की वी हॅव अटेंडेड अ मिटिंग मग ती पेज काढतात आणि हाजेर लायतात कळे ते मिनिट बुकाचे ऑन ट्वेंटी एट फाय टू थाउजंड एट एटीन लॅकची एंट्री एट लॅक अँड देन पे टू होको इंजिनिअरिंग म्हणजे स्पोर्ट्स इक्विपमेंटाची काय ट्वेंटी सिक्स लॅक कॅश दिस इज कॅश एंट्री Now, I can never imagine anybody paying 26 lakh. They may have paid 26 lakh. 28 5th, 2008. Meanwhile, GCA President Baru Fadke is ready for any kind of probe by the registrar or bill payments. Now, the registrar has been given two members. The two members have been given a report. How are you going to tackle that? Why, why, why I have to tackle anything? Why I have to tackle anything? लेट इट टेक्स इन ओन कोर्स तेंका इन्क्वायरी करू नये लेट देम फाइंड आउट किती असा ते आणि देऊ नये तेंका आपला रिपोर्ट यू आर ओपन आय एम ओपन फॉर ऑल फायनान्शियल फॉर एनीथिंग फायनान्शियल प्रोसेस फॉर एनीथिंग आय एम आय एम ओपन विथ ब्युरो इनपुट्स दिनेश करपे फॉर प्रुडेंट नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन्स अगेन्स्ट चेअरमॅन ऑफ गोवा स्टेट कोऑपरेटिव बँक हॅज टू बी डिसाइडेड बिफोर द ऑक्टोबर एंड The High Court has made it clear to the authorities. High Court has directed Central Registrar of Cooperative Societies to convene a board meeting and finish off the matter pending against Ullas for the Sai by 31st October. During the hearing before the High Court on Monday, state government informed the High Court that Central Registrar of Cooperative Societies has taken a decision to convene the board meeting to take up the matter of no confidence motion against Chairman Ullas for the Sai. On 26 September Central Registrar had issued an order to the managing director of Goa State Cooperative Bank to convene the board meeting but notice had no mention of any deadline After hearing all the parties the high court directed the central registrar to convene the meeting of board directors on no confidence motion by 31st October The high court has also directed the central registrar to appoint a representative who will preside over the meeting The High Court will hear the issue related with the arbitration process against some directors of the Cooperative Bank on 3rd November. Reporter Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.